Hey everybody, I wanted to do this yesterday, but ran out of time. This is buying local. I bought this local at Old City Army Navy store. I saw them this last weekend when I went by there and picked up uh, a couple of knives. I called up uh, Sunday and uh, asked if I could come pick it up Monday. And he set them off to the side and let me do it. But I'm gonna do an overhead shot. We're going, I've already opened up the boxes, but I'm gonna open them up in front of you with the camera above, we'll go over the details. These are all boot knives. This is the Rothko Raider 1, 2, and 3. They're awesome knives, guys. All right, let me get set up. Okay, here we go. I got some notes here because I'm going to go over uh, some stuff. I kind of mispronounced it yesterday, but I did some research, and uh, it's very interesting, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and just open up the boxes, and then we'll take them out and look at them one at a time. This is the larger one. This is the Raider 1. And this is the Raider 2. A little sneak peek. Here's the Raider 3. Okay, let's just, uh, we'll start with the big one. Really nice leather sheath. I asked uh, the store owner if I could take it out and hold it because I noticed this handle. Y'all see this handle? That's solid. This is none of that rubber. This is not metal, rubber, metal. This is not all rubber. This is all stainless. And you see the little grip texture there. I'll see how that throws. A nice belt clip. The sheaths are very decent. Check this out. Sharp on both edges, double-edged dagger. Check out that point. Now, this is a good time with the big one to show, to tell you all about the steel. You see that right there? Stainless and Ross Fry. R-O-S-T-F-R-E-I. Okay, that Taiwan, it's assembled in Taiwan. Rust Fry, or Rust Free in German, it's a German stainless steel, and it means Rust Free. And it's made out of Germany, Rust Fry. They actually had a, a knife company, Rust Fry, and I think it got sold, and it's actually a company over here in the US. But there it is right there, Rust Fry. I've never seen that before. Uh, I did find out it's the equivalent to 440A and B steel right there. So there is some maintenance to it, but so is there, there's maintenance on everything. But that is a solid knife, folks. And check out that size. It's the same as the others. What I'll do, I'll do a video sometime between now and Saturday or whatever, probably tomorrow. Well, it's raining tomorrow. Anyway, I'll put these up next to the budget-friendly uh, daggers that I did. I also made sheaths for them. You know, like the Smith & Wesson, uh, HRT, etc. But check that out. That is a solid knife. A solid dagger. Yeah, when I pull out my other daggers to compare, I'll even pull, I'll even pull out my uh, $200 uh, daggers. I got a couple of two hundred dollars and just compare, but yeah, that's this, this is pretty wild. So I'm gonna set that right there because uh, good. Uh, there was a good point uh, if I could lay them out, compare sizes. Okay, this is the Raider Two. I unsnapped it already. There's the clip. Nice quality leather sheaths, and there you go. Now check that out. That's uh, that's downright wicked, folks. So, I had to go back when I saw these, and I bought really, really nice knives in the store. When I saw these, I said, I saw my wish list. And I got to thinking, I need to grab that. Because when I went to look for these, uh, even on Amazon, when you buy from Amazon, this one I know for sure, uh, it's coming from a third-party seller. It's coming from a, a store. Uh, you, I tried going online, Rothko, to buy it myself, and you had to be a dealer. 
You see what I'm saying? So I did ask the guy on Amazon, he has a, uh, three pictures and the middle picture looked like the HRT, I mean the rubber. So he said that was a mistake. It is like this, okay? Now these are budget friendly lights. Let me set that down. I wanna go something. Uh, this one right here was 30 bucks and I've seen them run for 25, okay? 30 bucks. These two are 24 95, 25 bucks. Okay, so I got my budget friendlies. Y'all know I got the Reaper, $15 dagger, and then I go up to $25, $29, I believe it was for the SOG uh, Nightshade. So these are in the ballpark. They're budget friendly. Okay, check out this, uh, shut up Steve. Check out these, uh, this Raider 3. Okay, the sheet's a little bit different squared off rounded off they all got really nice clips and there you go this is the Raider 3 now look at that point this is cool this could be uh, yeah this she's just made totally different that's pretty cool now that I've gotten into making cheese, I kind of get ideas on stuff. This is great. This would be great uh, neck knife. Okay, so that's the Raider 3. So here we go. We got them all out to look at the comparison in sizes. Uh, let me go over this. Ross Fry. Um, I tell you pronounce it. Ross Fry. German name. And it means rust free. It's the German word meaning rust free. These are black matte, matte finishes, matte, matte finish, and it's made by Rothko. Uh, you know, you know Rothko. They sell military uh, gear and stuff. In fact, I got a couple of bags and uh, uh, magazine pouches. Rothko. So yeah, the twenty-five to thirty dollars. Um, I wanted to share that with you. These are boot knives. And uh, really heavy duty, okay? If I get around to it, uh, probably not today. I'm gonna, I'll get around and throw it compared to the others. It's definitely more weight than the other ones, I'll tell you that. Not a whole lot, it's just, you know, it's solid. Very cool. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope I answered any questions. I apologize for such a short presentation yesterday, but as you can see, I wanted to give you all a better look at them, uh, along with the dust. Sock out. <laughs>